Ah, the Pittsburgh Pirates, a complete legacy of failure. No, this isn't me crapping on the future of the franchise necessarily, because there obviously is some insanely promising future with pieces of this team, which I'll get into, but it's more so about the fact that the Pirates have gone nowhere in years where I feel like they should have at least gone somewhere. Not everybody is going to go from over 100 losses to the World Series in two years, like the Rangers and D-backs did last year, or the Kansas City Royals going from over 100 losses to a potential division win in just one year. That's not always going to happen, obviously, it's not that simple. Some rebuilds are very smooth, or at least end up working out smoothly in the end, after a lot of painful years like Baltimore or Kansas City. Others aren't that smooth, and may never end up working, and one of the ones that could be in that category are the Pittsburgh Pirates. Now again, it's not just a recent thing. The Pirates made the postseason three years in a row from 2013 through 2015. Before that, they were on a 20-year drought, and since that, they've missed for what will now be nine straight years. The rebuild truly began in 2018, where the Pirates went on to have some really dreadful seasons, but the last couple of seasons have been a lot more promising, at least from an outside-looking-in perspective, or at least from an on-paper perspective. Before 2023, it seemed to all be coming together. The Pirates had a young core seemingly forming. Andrew McCutcheon, once a young star, was coming back as a veteran. I'm not saying it seemed like the Pirates were going to go to the World Series, but I felt like they were at least going to be more competitive than they ended up being, and more than they've ended up being to this day. The Pirates started out really hot last year, then really fizzled out. O'Neill Cruz got hurt early, so he basically had a whole lost season. He came back this year, and he's been good, but not the superstar type player that we kind of were promised. Not to pick on Cruz, though, because he's at least lived up to some expectations a little bit, compared to mostly everyone else on the offense. Because beside him, Brian Reynolds, who the Pirates were able to lock up before last season, and McCutcheon, who's been pretty good for what he is now in his career, the Pirates hitting has been dreadful. Like, really bad. They were a bottom-tier offense last year, and they've only gotten even worse this year. The pitching part is exciting for obvious reasons, but even that is a little skewed for obvious reasons. Paul Skeens has been worth every single bit of the hype that was put upon him. He's exceeded all of it, and he's put himself in a position to not just start the all-star game right after beginning his career, but maybe even win a Cy Young award. There's no way around it. He's been that incredible and just makes it look easy. Like he needs a new league of hitters to face because this one just isn't good enough for him. But when you take him out of the equation, the Pirates pitching staff doesn't look that great. Mitch Keller is a solid starting pitcher. He's not going to strike you out to death, but he's simply a solid guy to have in your rotation. Bailey Falter has shown some success and before getting hurt, Jared Jones had some great stuff. So the rotation does have some good pieces, obviously, but it's also not that deep in terms of depth and guys who can step up or be there when what seems like the inevitable happens of one or two of these guys having to go down with an injury or an elbow situation. The bullpen is nothing special. David Bednar has been beyond atrocious this year and just cannot seem to get it together, getting crushed virtually every single time he's out there. Aroldis Chapman is always a nice arm to have, but he's not a long-term guy. Overall, the Pirates pitching is a lot more promising than the hitting, but it's still not quite where it needs to be, especially when you add it to a lineup that has been so bad and you put those two together, you get the lousy team we've seen for the majority of this year. The Pirates have seen seem to have some exciting young players come up over the last couple of years only to completely wet the bed. Hey Brian Hayes is the perfect example of this, a first round draft pick and someone who the Pirates gave an 8 year extension to a couple of years ago, clearly showing their faith in him that he'd be their third baseman moving forward. But unfortunately, he just hasn't figured out offensively. He was not good at all in 2022, his first full season after getting the extension. He was much better in 2023, although nothing necessarily that special with the bat, just above average. And this year, he's even worse than he was a couple years ago. I mean, he's basically unplayable with how bad his offense is. He has great range at third base. He's obviously very athletic there, but he just cannot hit right now. And same goes for the vast majority of the Pirates hitters. It sucks because after all these years, you would at least hope, if not expect, Expect to see some promising improvements with the hitting, yet none of these guys even seem to be reaching league average, let alone expectations of good or great hitters, and they're not doing anything right. They're 27th in on-base percentage, so they're not getting on base. They're 25th in slugging percentage and in home runs, so they're not hitting for any power. They're in the top five for baseball and strikeouts, so they're struggling to even make contact, and it's stuff like this that makes it frustrating to see exciting players like Paul Skeens in his future. He's so abnormally great and exciting to watch, but are we just going to have have to get used to him getting little to no run support and not on winning 
some teams. It's even gotten to the point where the positive pieces on the team are getting meddled with, as the Pirates just seem to be searching for anything to get better. O'Neill Cruz has been a shortstop his whole career from the minor leagues all the way to today, but that's going to change because the Pirates are now moving him to center field. Cruz is known for his insanely strong arm, but he doesn't have good range at shortstop really at all, which is the complete opposite of his doppelganger in Cincinnati, who has as elite range as range can get at shortstop. Ellie and O'Neill have the rocket arm and speed in common, but O'Neill just hasn't figured out playing shortstop, and so on a center field he'll go, which should be interesting, but whether it ends up a disaster or Cruz becoming the best defensive center fielder in baseball, it won't change the Pirates offense from being as dead as the Acolyte. Part of this has to be a Pirates thing, kind of like how the Mariners seem to struggle to develop hitting. Maybe the Pirates have some issue from within and they just can't quite get their highly touted young hitters to that next level. Key Brian Hayes even went as far as to seek hitting help from the Pirates AA hitting coach last year and it actually helped him catch fire at the plate. So what do the Pirates do? Fire that double A hitting coach and keep the current one who's of course continuing to not show any good consistent results in Pittsburgh. It sucks because here we are looking at another insanely underwhelming Pirates season when we may even see them finish in last place. Now, like I started this video off, we've seen teams go from the gutter to genuine World Series hopes in like one or two years. Obviously, there's a lot that went into that, but who's to say the Pirates can't be at least somewhat good next year? We don't know that, but the issue is how unlikely it seems considering how much promise has been seeming to be built lately in Pittsburgh just to have nothing show for it. Like, what have we seen to think the Pirates are moving in the right direction? Nobody on the Pirates would be able to look you in the eye with a straight face and say this year was a step in the right direction. If they did, they'd be lying. Baseball in Pittsburgh just continues to let the fans down and now on an even wider spectrum because of how many eyes Paul Skeens draws to his game. Skeens isn't letting anyone down, he's been fun, but the rest of the team hasn't been. And because of that, another mostly unmemorable pirate season will go by. Let me know what you think and thank you for watching.